Hello everybody, it's Rhino here. If you can't tell where I am from looking behind me here, I am at the Pop Century Resort. And uh, this is my first time back in like forever. I'm over here because I felt like it was time to kind of hop out of the park and do a dining review for a couple of the resort locations. So there is a plant-based burger that I saw that is available here at the Everything Pop Shop Dining. <laughs> Everything Pop shopping and dining. So I think they're both called Everything Pop. I will update that in just a second. I think I've been reading too much and get confused easily. You'll have to forgive me. Um, but I am here. I rode the Skyliner over from Epcot to give this to give this a try. If you've been watching this channel for a while and staying up to date, you know that I did recently do a plant-based burger at uh, Deluxe Burger that was just not my favorite thing in the world. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't my favorite. But this one sounds a little more interesting because this is like a play on a barbecue burger so uh i'm gonna go inside because i think i have to like order and take it out and um get all situated and set up in there but before i do that i just want to remind everybody that this video and everything that we do here is brought to you by dreams unlimited travel they are experts at helping you plan the perfect disney vacation you can visit them on the web at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com when you book with them it costs you nothing extra and you help support the show so we appreciate all of you who are able to book with them, who choose to book with them. Thank you so, so much. Now, enough of that. I'm wasting away out here, starving, spinning around in a circle because I'm so anxious, but I need to eat. There is plenty of outdoor seating. Uh, I am happy to report already. So uh, let me go get the scoop on all of this and I'll keep you updated as I go. Otherwise, what would be the point of this video? <laughs> all right, I finally got my order pickup. So I'm gonna go in here, just take a look. Indoor seating is open this whole area here and you just go up I got the beat it said to go to order number one wow this looks really different than it used to just my order table number one I got my food it took about 20 minutes um so a little longer uh especially since there was like nobody around i don't know so uh maybe they were just getting started with lunch i'm not gonna hold it against them but um you can see here i'm gonna tell you right now i'm gonna turn this around and show you what that looks like inside of that wrapper right now but um these were supposed to be sea salt lentil chips and i'm gonna, not gonna lie i'm so disappointed because i was really looking forward to trying lentil chips um so i'm a little bummed out by that right now but this is the journey of rhino nothing can ever go 100 percent correct i've accepted it I hope that you have as well. Um, so let me show you what this looks like and I'm gonna read you the description as well. This is the plant-based barbecue burger, which is $11.99. It is served with arugula, tomato, avocado, barbecue sauce, and a side of sea salt lentil chips. Well, as you can, I've already shown you, I don't have lentil chips, which is fine. I was just really looking forward to those. This already isn't very warm, so I can't, that's a little sad, but. My ears might be really fun. I'm just going to show you the inside of the burger. Okay, let's tip her upside down. There's the arugula and the barbecue sauce. Okay, this is a Beyond patty. And then also, there's no tomato in this. It's just barbecue sauce, arugula, and the, and the um, avocado. I'm a little disappointed already. I feel like I'm being a brat, but there's also not a ton of barbecue sauce on here either, but there is extra inside if you need it. Anyway, I'm, I'm diving in. My gimbal died. What else is new? It says it has full battery power and it just flops over every time I go to record this. So I've taken a couple of bites. You can see there is plenty of avocado on here that is nice. I love avocado. I'll add it to anything that I can. I love arugula too. Um, but I am getting zero barbecue sauce. It's basically only the Beyond patty, which I also don't feel like is actually cooked correctly. Um, it's cooked. I just feel like it could have been cooked a little better. Um, the bun is kind of falling apart, but that I don't really blame that. The, bun's, the bun really isn't that bad, but there was an area inside with like condiments and things like that. And I bet there was more barbecue sauce in there, but I'm by myself and I don't want to like take my stuff and go back inside and get it and bring it back out. But I just in case it came out a little bland, I did get red pepper flakes for some reason because they were near the napkins to throw it on this burger. So I might do that and give that a try, but yeah. It's so light on the barbecue sauce. I don't really know what I was expecting. I'm just really kind of bummed out. 
Um, it's not, I don't know. Yeah, the Beyond Burger is like almost a little chewy. Um, it is definitely not the best one of these that I've had. So the avocado is good. That is about it. So far, not so good. I am gonna force myself to finish it because I do not like wasting food because I have some anxiety, <laughs> major anxieties around food, but yeah, this is, uh, this is not good. And I don't even have sea salt lentil chips to make up for it. Well, that was that. That was the plant-based burger at the Everything Pop Shopping and Dining. And uh, don't get it, it wasn't good. Um, I think the tomato, I mean, yeah, it would have made a difference, but I don't think it would have saved it. I think ultimately the patty wasn't necessarily the best patty it could be. Um, and it just was, it was boring. I mean, I, it, it's too bad too, because it, uh, it's the only plant-based option listed at this resort right now. And also it's the only option at the Art of Animation as well. So maybe they're doing it better over there i don't know maybe they still got those chips i think that really dresses it up and does honestly make a difference but i it was 12.77 after tax i say like don't waste your money and maybe just hop on the skyliner and try and go somewhere else i know options are still limited when it comes to that sort of stuff but i gotta say this was probably my least favorite plant-based option i've had at walt disney world so far um it was just uh it was a bummer because i was really excited for it so I'm sorry, I also hate having reviews that don't turn out great either. So I, for those of you who made it this far, I'm just really disappointed about this, I'm so sorry. Um, so hopefully I can find another good spot to go soon somewhere and try something else to kind of get back on that, uh, that, that the, the train of good vibes that I was riding because I feel like I've been finding so many good things lately and so I was bound to crash eventually. Uh, flew too close to the sun, Icarus, but um, anyway, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave me some comments. If you've heard of some cool, better dining options, other places with plant-based stuff, please let me know. I would love to go and try it out selfishly or for you as well. Um, so thank you everybody for watching. Remember, if you are booking a Disney trip at any time in the future, please consider using Dreams Unlimited Travel. And that is gonna do it. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go just do and walk around and be kind of like, hmm wasted calories so i hope you're all uh, having a great day staying safe happy and healthy i'll see you next time bye everybody